Hello, I'm Steve, and welcome to today's Retro Tech episode. I want to thank anybody who's been subscribing to the channel for a while and uh, comments. I've really appreciated a lot of the feedback, and I really love uh, any kind of feedback anybody want to add to this video would be great. I do try to answer every single comment I get. Um, today, I'm back with a part two where I'll be cleaning the outside of this PVM. This is the Sony PVM 1954Q. It is the NASA monitor where we cleaned the inside previously. And today I'm going to be cleaning the outside of the monitor. We're going to clean this bezel. We're going to get a lot of these stickers off. I'm going to leave this tag here, but I don't want these little stickers, so we're going to get rid of them. We're going to clean the screen, uh, the button area, and then we'll clean the shell separately afterwards. So first I'd like to show you some of the uh, things we're going to be using today and some of my tips on how I clean PBMs. First off, one of the items that you use is, uh, this is just a generic bottle, but Windex. Specifically, this is just a commercial line, original Windex, but Windex does not really damage anything, so it's not going to harm anything. You can clean your screen with it because it is glass, but uh, just so you know, you don't want to spray it directly on the screen. I'll show you how I'll do it with my PVM. Now, if you have a BVM or some other high end with a mask on it and you don't want to use this, then you can get a specific screen cleaner. But uh, for my uses, I've always used just the high end Windex and I spray it on the towel and then wipe the screen clean. So I'll show you that. Uh, some of the other things that you can use uh, to clean, one of the more popular, I mean water, but also uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'll use that to clean off a lot of the residue from stickers. And it also helps off getting any marker, uh, any kind of residue from markers or Sharpies. You can get really a lot of that cleaned off by just rubbing it a lot with rubbing alcohol, even on the metal. So that'll be something we use today. Now, sometimes you might run into something where we need um, maybe some uh, WD-40 on some of the metal or something. That's not really going to damage anything. So WD-40 sparingly can be useful for cleaning some uh, hard to clean areas. And then um, one other thing you're going to want to have is plenty of compressed air. Uh, I use an air compressor, but this is, if you don't have an air compressor, you can buy packs of these and uh, they should help. Um, let's talk about some other things, cleaners, that, uh, first off, goof off. I highly recommend not using goof off on your PVM or really any kind of uh, electronic stuff with metal or... Uh, plastic because it tends to just eat away at the outer layer it gets it discolors everything and it can even start eating away at the plastic there's something that chemically happens with goof off and plastics that it's very very not it's and it's almost irreversible the damage it will do so don't use goof off you can use goo gone if uh, you need to get off some kind of residue that's really tough I always say alcohol first but then if you can't, Goo Gone is safe. And um, so some of the tools that you might need, I mean, I'm gonna use mostly paper towels, but for some of this, uh, these stickers, I might need to scrape off some of that sticker and just get a uh, plastic putty knife, that's what this is, so you won't do any damage. It's got, a, it's got an edge to it, so you can kind of just push uh, along on some of these if you need to get some of that out you can put some of your uh, cleaner there and let it soak in and then scrape it off you might have to do that a little bit on these two stickers we're going to be getting off here so also for dusting I like to use Swiffer dusters you can just Swiffer dust to get rid of a lot of the dust in the areas to begin with it does a good job of capturing all that along with the compressed air and then um, some to uh, this paintbrush you can do a good job getting in those corners and it doesn't do any damage, it's nice soft bristles. Also, there's these vent holes on the side that you can brush a lot of that dust out too, using it that way. And then uh, when I start to clean, I always leave the shell together to first clean the bezel. That way, none of the cleaning agent will end up back on the inside of the PVM where we don't really want it. This is our last item to uh, use for cleaning. That is just some distilled water. 
There's no, uh, this has been basically ultra filtered, so there's no hormones, no chemicals, nothing, just straight water. And that's what I'll use to finish off cleaning the outside of the PVM. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the front. We'll start cleaning and um, you can watch us as we go remove these stickers and the residue and get this PVM looking very great. Back to the front of the PVM. And I'm going to start with this corner down here. This is just that thing I've already pulled a little bit off of my scratchy with my finger. And I'm just going to rip that off so you can see that came off pretty easy. And then uh, we'll clean this area. So let's move up a little bit and we'll try to get this other sticker off also. This one in the top corner says playback monitor. Try to get it off too. It might not come off as easy. But uh, we'll try, so you just, it's good to have a little bit of fingernail to do this. This helps get under these stickers and you don't damage. Um, I try not to use tools unless I really have to because I don't want to accidentally scratch, even put a little scratch in my case at all, my bezel. So there we go. Stickers are gone now. And uh, the first thing I'll do then is rub the areas with some of this isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just going to dab it straight onto my paper towels. Just dabbed it on there, right there, and just gonna use it like a wipe. And just clean up that area where that sticker was. I'm going to go over it a lot. Just go over the whole front in one motion. And you can see just how much, you know, buildup there was of dirt. Um, good to wipe it off quickly. Don't let alcohol even sit on there too long. So can see even after the first run there's still a lot of dirt on there so sometimes then I'll just even take the same towel and start spraying some Windex right on it see and that can help too you know just go over the other areas it's always good to start at the top of the monitor and work your way down also most people probably do that but you'd be surprised if you get going you think you're going to clean at the bottom but you have to re-clean the bottom after you've cleaned the top so it's always good to work your way from the top down when you're cleaning so again I'm just going to rub it some more don't really want to lose my sticker on the top side here so I'm not going to use alcohol on the top, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, this top sticker. I don't want to lose it. So I'm not going to put alcohol on the top of the bezel. I'm just going to use, basically what I just did was just used the Windex. So if you feel it and it feels really, really clean and smooth, then you're good to go, especially if you can't see anything. See, sometimes... You won't be able to see it with the naked eye right away if you still have some sticker residue. And I've actually got a little bit still left up here that I couldn't see with my eye, but if I rub it, I can feel the residue with my finger. So, again, just take your time. Rub it with a little bit of alcohol. Rub that whole area again. And there you go, the residue comes away pretty easily with alcohol. So, flip it over the other side where I had the Windex on there, give it a good wipe. And I'll come back after I've done all that and probably clean it a couple more times with Windex as well as uh, rub it down with that distilled water. So, let's just move down here to this other spot. You can see there's a little bit of buildup around there. Let's go ahead and uh, clean that spot up and while I'm doing this 
if, uh, if you're watching this right now and you've been watching my videos for a while, I just want to say thanks for uh, being supportive and subscribing to the channel. My goal is to try to have everybody, you know, kind of learn their ways around some of this old tech and also talk about things that I feel are enjoyable to me and, and probably to other people that um, there's not a, lot of, not a lot of coverage of anymore. So first off, I want to say thanks to uh, Charlie Cat, Anthony, uh, one of the best subscribers I've had. He's definitely always commenting and, and giving me good ideas and good feedback. And I just wanted to give him a subscriber shout out for this. So Anthony, you're the man. Um, but when you're cleaning this, I just keep using that alcohol. You don't need to use a lot of different towels. Paper towels work good. And one should work pretty good. So let's see here. I can still see a little bit of color change, so I feel like it needs a little bit more. Um, I don't need color change. I just, well, that's where the sticker's been for so many years. And it was a white sticker. So there might be um, a change in color due to UV exposure a little bit that would need some retro brighting possibly, but that's not something I'm going to be doing to this because you have to take the whole thing apart to do that. Okay, so that's definitely gotten all the residue. I'm going to finish up by cleaning the bezel outside with alcohol and then Windex. And then I'll come back and we'll take a look at just cleaning the screen real quickly. Again, around the top areas, cleaned with the alcohol and the other mix of uh, Windex. Then I'll go over and rub it with some water when I'm done, but very smooth, very clean. It's just how to hit it. A little compressed air up there and let's go ahead and talk about how I clean my screens I will take these softer paper towels high-end paper towels bounty or something and and then like I say I always just spray my Windex directly onto the paper towel and that is to prevent if I sprayed my Windex directly on the screen it would go in between the bezel and the screen glass and then it would just go all the way and I just don't want to think about that going inside the PVM and making a mistake like having some kind of electronics malfunction on my buttons or something due to some kind of Windex getting down there. So I usually going to work my way again from the corners out and um, just motion like that. And that's most of the time how I clean the screens. If you get some buildup on there, a lot of times people will immediately think there's a scratch on a screen and there's tape residue. Glue and tape, people will put tape on the front of these, tape some kind of note on the front of them. A lot of times I've seen that when I've salvaged them and it leaves a nice looking, uh, you know, streak like it's got a scratch on it only to find out it's just been some kind of tape that was left on it. And I'm not putting a huge amount of pressure on here when I'm doing this right here. I'm just going back over this with a fresh paper towel to softly wipe off all that, anything that was left over. And this screen is beautiful. But again, if you need to work on it hardcore, you can use, I've used Goo Gone and alcohol and Windex to scrub uh, residue off the screen. This particular monitor when I first got it had a spot like that from tape and I for the longest time thought it wasn't uh, I, I thought it was a scratch because it looked like a scratch. I cleaned it a lot with Windex a little bit and I just wasn't really getting into it until one day I put some uh, alcohol or goo gun on it and, and worked it a little bit more and realized it just started to come free. It took a while to work it but it did come free and um, even if you need to put pressure, you can say grab your uh, putty scraper and fold a nice thick piece of paper towel on there and put your cleaner on that edge and then just basically work that. You can put extra pressure and, and get a good point of contact of pressure to get that glue or adhesive off. That's, that could go for any spot, but it works well 
on the screen because you're not going to damage it. And that even works well to get in your corners too, help you get a nice clean edge. So let's, uh, let's look at the screen. Let's go down here and focus on the buttons. Now the buttons, it really depends on the condition of the buttons. These ones aren't bad. I'll clean these the same way. They don't need to be overly cleaned. So, uh, again, I don't like to just spray, spray the cleaner on. Uh, you do want to be careful when you're going over your speaker here. That can be a little tricky. You can get some uh, dirt caught in there if you're not careful. So be careful when you go over your speaker. But uh, I'm not a big fan of spraying the stuff all over the PVM uh, when you're not taking the whole thing apart to clean it. Now when we clean the back, it'll be separated from the shell. And it will get a good cleaning and spraying off and we'll go through that some more but that's just how i get in between the buttons with the alcohol a little bit on there wipe get around your pull rack hooks and then some crochet in there One last step here, I will take my water and stab it on my towel, a new towel, and just rub that over that and then dry it off. I'm just going to do that on some of these spots where I don't want any kind of chemical stain on there, especially the outsides. That's pretty much all you need, but you don't and you do it on the inside here of the bezel. I don't want to hit the screen with it because I don't want it to mess up and streak my clean glass. We'll go over everything else nicely. Make sure to get any kind of cleaning agent off there so it doesn't stay on there and accidentally change the color on something. I don't want it to. Still get a little bit of dirt too off. So, well that's about the time limit for this video. So we're gonna try to come back on a third video and clean just the out outward uh, shell really well. I'll show you how I disassemble it and then we'll do the same kind of alcohol rub and we'll actually hose this one off outside, let it air dry and uh, come back and reassemble it and reassemble it back too. So we'll do that in a future video. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think on the comments again. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Thanks for watching Retro Tech and have a great day.